my name is Ty. Uh, I really enjoyed your performances. They were amazing. Thanks, Ty. Um, and speaking of those performances, uh, speaking of those performances, uh, your topics on your songs are very uh, different. They're not like others. And I was wondering, like, uh, what makes you choose the topics that you uh, write about and perform? Yeah, I'm I'm a little weird, right? In a certain way. I mean, let's face it. And at some point, I became comfortable with the idea of writing about the thing that fascinated me, whether it resonated with people or not. And that means that there's a reason that none of you know who I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not famous, right? But as somebody said, I want to be a household name in certain households. And I became comfortable over time with the idea of writing the thing it comes to me to write, even if it's a little odd. And then you wind up with a unique, you know, a unique uh, piece of work and a unique point of view. Uh, and it sticks with people in a unique corner of, you know, a unique corner of the brain. It's okay to be unusual, you know? For sure, for sure. Um, it's hard to be unusual and experience extreme artistic and commercial success. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but if you're going to be unusual, then you get the rewards of being unusual, which is feeling like I created something that maybe was just mine to create, you know, the feeling of a unique expression that, that is from your unique life experience. You know, you have ownership over that. Like you made this unusual thing. So if you, like me, Ty, feel like, you know, you observe the world from a different corner of the intersection, you know, it's like, oh, then I'm going to make things from where I see them here and not worry about reaching everybody from every angle. But I'm just going to represent my window on the world. Right. I, I, um, I can relate to that fully. Yeah, and if there's yeah an unusual topic that you want to explore, you should. And again, see what lands with people. Yeah, because I know that um, most of the time when I write music, uh, I kind of like do it where like, okay, is this a soundtrack to an event that's happening in my life? Um, so like if I, a certain sound, um, like if you're just driving late at night, uh, what song do you hear playing when you're driving late at night? And then I'll create that song uh-huh yeah do you start with but, the track first do you work with like logic pro or garage band or pro tools and create a track first kind of a soundscape and then put words on it or um when i first started writing i wasn't really making my own beats uh it was just kind of like i really like the vibe of this and i can picture a scene and then i'll write to it but now it's uh, now that i make my own beats and stuff like that um i'll hear it and then like the melody first and then i'll start adding drums and all types of stuff to it and i'll start seeing an image um as i'm making the beat and I'm like okay now i know what i want the lyrics to be about um and then i'll start writing that and the writing process goes really fast for me because usually the beat takes longer time like the writing process takes me like maybe like 30 minutes to write it because i already have the image in my head wow so you, so you feel like it's a visual process, right? Like you're seeing a scene, you're seeing something in your head. Is it a color or is it, are there specific details, objects, activities going on in the scene? Um, to be honest, it's like a, it's like a movie almost. Uh, like if I see something like, like for example, the song that I'm gonna perform today, it's unreleased, but uh, I, when I made the beat, I envisioned like someone enjoying like the summer with friends and then maybe a significant other that they really have feelings for, but not really discussing it pretty much like verbally well, you know? Um, and when I heard it and I tried adding the drums and stuff to it, I was like, okay, now I see the image in my head and I see all the events that's taking place, like them laughing and talking, hanging out and stuff. And I just started writing it. Um, and yeah, that one may, may, may have took me like maybe like 45 minutes to an hour to finish that. Wow. I would love to hear one of your songs. Are you going to do something for us today or not there today? Uh, yeah, for sure. That'd be great. Out here fishing, ay, ay, yeah, getting chicken, ay, your mommy really in her bag, no subliminals, ay, and she getting cash, ay, now on social thirst, trapping, throwing, ay, but she really got her own 
ain't had a hey, hey, look, you something different. I need the vision. Hey, I know you hear it. Hey, I'm kicking with this chick hot in some mess to her eyes. They really do a number on my soul. In my zone, they really wanna go home. Cause I really feel like you were the one. I be the buzz talking. I be out here with the buzz talking. Hey, I love the party, boy. Enjoy my chops and walk and catch me on the west side. When it's late night, so when you ready, baby, you can come find me with all my home dogs. And I told ya, hey, when you ready, baby, hey, you can come slide. So catch me on the west side. When it's late night, so when you ready, baby, hey, you can come find me with all my home dogs. And I told ya, hey, when you ready, baby, hey, you can come slide. Yeah, if I ain't tell you then, then I'ma tell you now. I can't be your friend, I wanna lock you down. Didn't want you like to end, wanna see your smile. Your girls don't love you, man. Me and you hanging out, they think I'm like other men. Ain't got you feeling doubt. I am not pretend, the real is not allowed. So what if they take offense? Take you see the town. We go hand in hand, get like so in the south. Goes whatever, they keep running their mouth. We doing things they only talking about. Seeing the world while he's stuck in the house. Making love while he bends on the couch. It's whatever, cause the sun is eyes. So on the west side, that's the late night. Hey, you ready, baby? Come find me with all my home dogs. And I told ya, hey, when you ready, baby, yeah, you can come slide. So catch me on the west side when it's late night. So when you ready, baby, yeah, you can come find me with all my home dogs. And I told ya, hey, when you ready, baby, yeah, you can come slide. TK. Does, does this work with my big head rocking to your thing there? That was, Ty, that was wonderful. I love that. And you know, there's, um, I was thinking how about, um, I was thinking about risk. We were talking earlier about risk, right? And there's something going on in the second and third verse there, Ty, where you start to talk about, um, like you may think, like talking to this significant other, like you may think I'm this, or you may think our relationship is gonna be like this, but actually it's gonna be like this, right? There's this subtle, like you put yourself at risk in there. In the second and third verse, there's these little hints of like, uh, like how you may be disappointed by other people, but I'm not gonna do that. Or yeah. I've been disappointed too. How did, do you know what I'm talking about? In the second verse and in the yeah. third verse, there's these little, could you tell us what those lyrics are? Um, so I said that, um pretty sure I said, uh, your girls don't recommend me and you hanging out. They think I'm like other men and got you feeling doubt. Um, yeah, and then I, I, I finished it up with saying I'm not pretend as well as God allows. Um, and I kind of wrote, I wrote that maybe a little bit ago and I just kind of threw it into this song, but. It's huge. Um, yeah, essentially it was just like, um, you know, a lot of people like, a lot of people base their opinions on things um, based off what their friends are like, Peers say. Uh, so I, I was trying to say I'd hate for someone to miss out on a moment um, just because someone else told you not to, you know, rather than going just experiencing it yourself. Um, it's kind of what that whole like three lines were about and saying, well, if you just, if you allow me to just to show you that like this is actually like a great, you enjoy yourself around. It, it's so great, Ty. I think that's really, really, and you start the second verse with that, right? Like, girl, the, your girls don't recommend me. Don't you? It's early in the second verse you do that, right? Yeah, it's pretty early in the second verse. Yeah, I think it's really key because it, it, um, it, the audience immediately, all listeners will be like, I know that feeling, like that feeling of, you know, you may have a low opinion of me, and or some other people may have a low opinion of me, but I'm gonna prove different. Yeah. Like, and I, super powerful. Yeah, I was kind of like, it's something that I kind of like, almost like preach religiously at this point is like just formulating your own like opinions and thoughts on what you like perceive the world to be, so. Yeah. Um, and I kind of, that applies to like all aspects in life, including like, like relationships and stuff. There's something in the third verse too, and I can't remember, but there was another element in the third verse where again, you kind of, uh, there was a little risk in there and it, it just doubles the power of the thing. Hey, one thing to mention uh, in that track, um, there's a hook, there's a, there's a repeating, right? Yeah. That, that keeps looping. 
I kind of wanted that to disappear once or twice, just to reveal these lines that have risk in them. Uh, uh, I get what you mean. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it's almost like you're just op popping the door open a little bit, and, <laughs> and it gives that stuff even a little more power. Sure. I, I agree with that for sure. Oh, Ty is so great. Give it up for Ty. Yeah. Thanks, man.